Hello everyone and welcome to the Binding of Isaac episode number one and a challenge run for three times charm. I saw this on another YouTuber's um, comments. It was basically infinite item power for the D6 and every item you find three times you have to roll it and you have to take it, whatever it is. But it has to be passive. It cannot be a um, space item, you have to keep your space item. And we will explode this into drop. Because it'll give me a spirit heart. And we'll get rid of these guys. Yeah, so every item I face, so whether that be a shop, item, where it be, you know, one of the items in the item room, item in the curse room that we have over there, or um, a boss item, even deal with the devil, they must be rolled three times. So if I go in and I find, you know, a deal with the devil, Ugh, deal with the devil item, a really good one, something like a, I don't know, brimstone. I can't take it, I have to roll three times. Oh no, don't do this to me, I don't want to re-roll this. One, two, three. Okay, damage ups, that's okay, that's good, I'm not going to complain with damage up, but losing quad shot, that's, uh, that's a big loss, because that is a great, um, Great upgrade, and I would have loved to have it. Would have made things a lot easier. Let's get rid of this spider. Let's get rid of this nub, hopefully. Soon. There we go. He's gone. I'm liking the bomb now, so I really would like to open that up. Oh, I don't have time. Did not have the time necessary to move that bomb close up. I want to blow myself up. Not worth it. I don't think it's worth it to blow yourself up for. Well, then again, I could have had a couple good things in that, um, that since drop, so maybe it could have been worth it. Um, I've got enough to key on, so I might just do it. One, two, three. Guardian Angel. Not bad. Um, the only problem is with that is not going to help me now. I mean, it will help if I get to the chest. Or oh, well, anything really against Isaac or Lou Baby. It will really help blocking some shots. Now I'll probably want to verse um, Famine. I um, would like to get meat. Just one cube of meat, or two, no, two cubes of meat. Love two cubes of meat, because that'll lead me to have... Um, there we go, Famine. Yeah. Um, that'll lead me to get myself a lot of protection from shots, which is always good. I'm not the best player, so any protection I can get is a good thing. And it's good to the, the champion version, the blue version of Famine, because He's an ass. He just chases you and chases you and he's well not hard but annoying. Right, so let's finish this fight off. Should not be much longer, it isn't. I'm pretty sure I can't re-roll this. I'll do it anyway. Take my cube of meat and down to the next floor. Please be a basement. Nope, sell or two. Okay. Oh. These guys should be pretty simple. Um yeah, so I've been wanting to record. Isaac, um, quite a while. I've had, had it since the summer sale. Um, I actually bought it before it went on sale. Um, well, I mean, like when it was, the, it was an actual deal. I bought it like 50% off instead of 75. But for a game that doesn't cost as much, I don't think it really matters. Um, but yeah, we really wanted to record it. I've gotten Platinum God, and um, so I've been the game. I've absolutely loved the game and played the absolute crap out of it. So I thought, well, since I have a YouTube channel, since I post gaming stuff, why not post the game that I really enjoy playing? So I can easily get into this, you know, record a couple of games, and I'll be happy to do so. Definitely won't be a stretch for me to want to record. It's such a fun game to play. I think I have like 220 hours or something. Um, now, I know a lot of people have a lot more than that, but considering I've only had this game for a couple of months, that's a lot. Um, a lot of time invested into the binding of Isaac, into shooting my tears at my mum. Bloody penny. Ooh, I have an arcade. Okay, one. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Wait, did I have to re-roll that truth? I don't know. Um, one, two, three. Can't get it. Can't get it. Can't get it. I can get that. I will take that. Thank you. Since I can't fly, that's a very useful item. I will definitely take the bloody penny. Let's go into the arcade. And let's farm for some sort of thing here. Hopefully the blood bag. Be great. I'm not getting my hearts back. I really want them. 
Come on. Okay. Keep going. Alright, give me my heart back. I'm off to play this a couple times. Never, don't get any hearts. I've got some hearts in that little room. Oh, perfect. There's half a heart. Play you. Play you again. I'm not getting any hearts. It's not cool. I need them. Yeah, I might um, quickly go up to. Actually, a pretty fly would be great if I could get that. Where are you I don't want to waste too much time here. I just want to get blow off this um, blood machine. There's two hearts. That's what I wanted. Okay. That's good. Let's get them on two times on this. A dime. Excellent. One, two, three. PhD. Awesome pickup. Okay, let's leave. Don't need a blood pen anymore. Let's keep pinky eye. I like pinky eye. Um, I know I've seen people who don't like um, pinky eye, but for me, the fact that it. I can't go in there anyway. So I'm near the shop, but I can't go to the shop yet. Um, the fact that it um, gives you some extra damage every now and then, you know, it poisons things. I like it. I actually think poison is a good thing. There's my key that I wanted. That bomb's a special bomb. Okay. Blow this up. Get out of the way before I hurt myself. Thanks. Okay, let's first boss and then go to the shop. Now, yeah, I will have to re-roll the shop item three times, so hopefully I'll get something good. A compass, um, the map. It would be great. Obviously, I can't take any of the space bar items, so I guess it's really all I can get, compass and map. Um, I guess... Okay, one, two, three. Tears up. I'll take that. Okay, let's see what we've got to deal with the devil. One, two, and three. I can't, oh, I can take the, um, the tail, but I do not want the tail for true hearts, it's definitely not worth it. Let's go to the shop. Um, probably tempted, really. I could go to the arc, not the arcade, I could go to, um, the bookstore, the library. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. Could go to the library with the key. I don't think this is cheating. I think this is a. Uh... This is this. Well, it's exploiting what I have. Okay. Ready? That's what you do. Because you can re-roll. So let's re-roll once. Bit of an exploit. <laughs> re-roll twice. And let's re-roll this third time. Now I won't be taking anything. But next time I come across a library, it could be very, very useful. Now, I probably won't become, come across any other libraries. Um, I know that happens quite a lot. The amount of times I go, oh, I love a library next, and I never get one. So, but we're on the cellar too, so there's a good possibility. Maybe later in the game, you know, you never know, maybe in the depths or something. Or, sorry, the womb, or even the cathedral. Getting a, um, a nice library, which would give me... Hopefully, oh, I can't dodge this guy very easily. He died quickly, so that's good. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get another library, because then I should be getting some passive items from the library. Because if you didn't know, um, once you get rid of, once you pick up every single book in the game, you then can get normal items from the library. So if you do that early on, especially if you have a, a library in the start and you have the D6, pick up both items and straight away re roll them. Unless it's really good, I mean, if you've got something that you really want to keep, don't, not that don't. But if you can get a couple of rerolls in, it would be very useful for you. Because you can, well, if you can get, you know, two extra items in the, in the cathedral or something, I mean, that's just huge. I mean, I know you get them in um, the chest, you'll get four items guaranteed if you have keys anyway. But, if you can get yourself some extra items, I mean, you're not, not going to ever say no to making the run easier, are you? This is an easy room. Shouldn't have any problems with this room. As we just realized we're in the caves now, so um moving along quite nicely. I don't know how long I've gone for, I'm not looking at the time. Uh I've got enough speed to get away from these guys, that's alright. These guys are horrible when you have no speed. They take a whole heart of damage. 
from you, and that's just, that's just, a, oh, it just hurts so much, take a whole heart, I mean, especially in these early rooms, um, well, now, I mean, I've only got three hearts to go on with, so if I have a whole heart taken away now, it's just, oh, it's, it can mean death, especially if I have a really bad couple of rooms or whatever, and then one of those guys just comes up and takes a whole heart, well, yeah, so that, those guys are pricks. Plain and simple, they're just pricks. Let's go <laughs> and to this item room. Very happy to re-roll this. Two and three. Mr. Mega. Five extra bombs and a funny face. Probably not what I wanted. Um, I don't use bombs to their potential, put it that way. I use bombs very little in combat. Um, Mum's heart, yeah, I'll use them against the Mum's heart because it's really easy to use them against her. And they do heaps of damage against her, but um, other than that, I really don't use bombs. Um, I'm trying to think, what other. Where do I use them? Uh, not trying to think of any other enemy I use bombs on. There's another bomb. What I need. Okay, we've got Peep. Is this champion Peep? Always got some creep around him. So he's jumping a lot too, it's really weird. Come on, get rid of your eyes. I don't like your eyes. Died. That peep. Anyway, peeps, peeps shouldn't be hard. I, well, shouldn't is the right word because I could probably make it seem like it's very difficult. And there's your first hard damage loss. Um, first heart loss, so he's dead, get my heart back, re-roll 1, 2, and 3, get another HP upgrade, well, first one we have, and we go down to the next floor, Cave Street, didn't get a deal with the devil, which kind of sucks, because I got an HP upgrade, which, that would have been nice, um, start here, Just get back down, I really don't like this room, I hate these guys, Really annoying. Ah! No, don't shoot me. Fat fly. How did I get out of there without taking damage? Ooh, now I'm here. Give me the money. Actually, good news. This bomb here. Very sense. Not useful, but this definitely is. One, two, and three. Hit me up. I'm not going to complain with that. Um, I'm always very happy to see if I can bomb my way into the boss arena. So that always gives you an item and uh, a HP upgrade. I'm never going to do a HP upgrade unless I'm trying to be you know, um, living on spirit hearts. Yeah, I'll say no then, but especially this early in the game. I definitely take every upgrade possible, and this will make a deal with the devil very, very, very useful. Now I have the heart to sacrifice, especially at one heart, I'm more than happy to sacrifice the heart for a good item, so I can get one. Is that done? We'll leave there and now go look for the item room, because that's what I want. Now, as for items, I'm not really sure what I want. Um, I wouldn't mind the wooden spoon and speed up be quite nice. But other than that, I would like... Uh, yeah, that's what it was. I would like to get a... Okay, good. I've already got a cube of meat. So second cube will be good. Don't want any more than second cube of meat, though, because I want to keep this protection. Um, but yeah, I would really wouldn't mind getting... Obviously, a damage up. A polyphemus would really be awesome. But one shot is probably the best thing I can hope for. I didn't get to deal with the devil. That's weird. I didn't take damage in this floor, did I? I didn't take any. No. I didn't take anything. So that's weird. Um, that's unlucky. To not get to deal with the devil on this on this floor. But can't do anything about it, so let's just move on. Unless I find a joke card, then I can do something about it. Um, and it's good to get a little bit extra damage now with my little meat boy head. I've got a shop, which I can bomb away into that as well, so I will do that. Hopefully I can get myself a, um, a key, so I can get into the item, because I don't have any keys. Um, really, a lot of keys to run. 
speaking of keys. But I'm still gonna bomb my way into the um oh there's another key. I'll still will bomb my way into there because I'd rather use two bombs than a key. Because like I said, four, I don't use bombs on enemies, so what's the point of using um a key if I can use a bomb? Oh crap. I should just left. I shouldn't even bother. Now, I do have 45 seconds, I guess that's why I went in here. Now, let's hope he drops something. The amount of time he doesn't drop anything. What, die. Let's die. Good. And he didn't drop anything. <sighs> Liberty Cap. Uh, yeah, it's Liberty Cap. I like Liberty Cap because it gives you every now and then compass effect. So, whenever you have like the map, and you're going, just say you're in um, the chest, and you can use the recap to uh, to your advantage because you can just find out where the boss room is and go straight to it without having to uh, guess which one could be the end. You, know, you get it straight away, so very useful. And this room, I remember when I first came across it, I found it pretty hard, but really easy room. Stick to the walls at the top and bottom. You shoot, because they can't hit you. Next room. Okay. Should we go into that? Yeah, I'll go into the first room. Oh, village of damage. Screw down. What? Oh, he's dead. Let's go in here. Can we get flies? Okay. Not, not bad. Not excellent. Um, I mean, the next room I face will be probably a little easier because these flies will attack. They will attack the. Uh, which were easy in the first place. And we can go into the other room. Chocolate milk, don't want it. One, two, three. Ghost baby. It's a little bit of familiars now. Three familiars. Well, that's if you count Garden Angels familiar, which probably a lot of people don't. But he is. In my mind, okay? He's familiar. And so is uh, Super Meat Boy level two. So now I've got three little guys helping me. Grab this heart and move on to the next level. As we go into the depths of the basement. Just the basement, you can use that phrase, yeah? We are basically in the basement. Okay, let's go see what we've got in the shop. One, two, three. Damn it. Steam sale. Now okay, we've got Devil. I'll also pick up the bomb, because I have heaps of money. I'm pretty sure the next. The next one will be green, so um, I'm pretty sure it will be green. So we'll have to go with what we've got here. Eight but these rooms have two of the green guys in the middle. Okay, what have we got? XI strength, same as the devil, but this one gives you an extra heart. Okay, this way is where I want to go. Oh, I hate this room. No. Move. Out of the way. Okay. Child's heart. Don't want it. Get rid of the guys in the middle. Oh, nearly took damage there. And he's gone. Okay. Again. Oh, thank God I've done to pick that up. One, two, three. The Lunker's hats. Not that useful now. Um, I mean, all it really allows me to do is see the super secret room because I already know where the um, normal secret room is thanks to the map that I have. So really not useful. Um, so many other items I would have rather. I always say damage in this room. There it is. I'm actually am running low. Now there's I know there's a heart in the shop, so I might have to guard that for the boss if I get a little bit desperate. I'm gonna search every room, you never know what you can get. Oh shit. No, don't dare. Okay, they're nearly dead. They're gone. What do I get? The Emperor. That is a great card. Um, I'll take the strength card for now, and I'll pick that up later. Fly. 
Um, and, oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm still alive. Okay, let's go and get. Um, oh, don't kill myself, please. Let's blow this up, and hopefully a heart will come out of this. Yes, half a heart, that's good. Now I feel confident enough to go and take on everything. Yeah, let's blow this up until it's in there. Money, which I'm not gonna need. Thank you. That would've been great for something like the noose to so transcendence. I would love to see that. I was playing a one the other day where... It always happens this way, where you get um, something like really nice, and then the same floor you get transcendence. I got through in the night from one of the cursed rooms, and then I got transcended from the secret room. So it's just like, rendered useless. It's like the one time you get it, it's not useful at all. This guy's gonna be a little difficult until he actually charges at me. Because it should die. It didn't, okay. It's dead now though, so that's good. Ooh, judgment. Let's blow that up and go have a play. What are you going to give me, Judgment? I guess it doesn't really matter, because I have to re-roll it anyway. Another Judgment! Ah, uh, he's the... He's an arsehole with Judgment. I don't want him. Give me another Judgment card. Heart? Very good, thank you. But I'm not going to waste my heart on the other Judgment. Not going to happen, because I don't want to kill myself. One, two, three... Four. That is extremely lucky. Considering I've had Dr. Peters a very small amount of times in my 200 hours of playing. Oh, I have some Mega as well, don't I? This is going to be good. Um, I've only had Dr. Peters, I think, probably four times. No, I don't think it's even been four times, ever. So to get it on the first time I start recording is quite remarkable and quite lucky so let's well, let's just say that the chest looks looks good unless I kill myself which oh I hate this room which is extremely possible it's funny how I say you know I never use bombs in combat if I get Dr. Peters I'm wrapped which forces me to use bombs for combat I don't know the logic is great let's go in here and let's get two light bombs which are not going to help me now yeah, I'm gonna go use the oh, strength card doesn't matter anymore. Let's go get the Emperor card before I burst the boss. Um, because strength damage has no um, impact at all on the fetus item, so Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus. I think I've got mini mush there. So it has no impact at all, so I might as well go get this Emperor card and let's go forward. First the boss. And then, now, really what I want is just health up. Uh, any any health up would be great. So, hopefully the next item room, get um, the heart, you know, get an extra one, maybe secret room, give me the liver, and health up here. That'd be great. That'd be the perfect thing I want. Loki, it should be easy. And it was. One, two, three. Health up. Okay, this is great. Good start. Didn't look the best for Felix. You're dead, you're dead, and you're dead. Let's go into the secret room. Greed! I'm gonna kill you, Greed. Actually, wait. Greed is there. The shop then does not have Greed. So that is a very, very good thing to first Greed there, because now I know the shop will have a good item. And which I'll be able to buy. Um, it'll only be seven cents, which I guess doesn't matter considering I have a lot of money in the first place. Oh no! Oh, guardian Angel. There, thank you. Let's go this way. Oh crap! No! 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 Ah, hard smart. You kill me. Two, two often. One, two, three. That really sucks. I had to give up homing bombs. 
Oh, that sucks. That would make this run even easier than what it already is. And homing mega bombs. I think that was the first time I found Dr. Fetus. That's what I had. It might even be the Fetus challenge run um, that you get to get to do. Um, oh, crap. No! Take the heart. Um, yeah, I think I got that and ended up just breezing through the game and was like, well, this is easy. I can understand why people like this item. Three heads. Of course I'm going to get the harder ones now. But I guess I really shouldn't complain. If I'm going to get harder enemies, at least I've got an item like um, Dr. Fetus to burst them with. Um, flies and... Well, I was going to say spiders. They are the worst things you can burst with the Dr. Fetus. Maybe even leapers as well. Um, but then they stop for a little bit at least. But flies are annoying. Okay, let's get through here. One, two, three. The ladder. I'll take it. Don't see why not. Could be useful. I'll take the key. And I'll the bomb because I'm not going to use my money for anything else. So I got. I would really have liked to get. Um, let's get this heart. Thank you, Magneto. Oh, here you go. Spider. Great. Great. Um. Get it. Get it here. Can't get it. Okay. Okay. Right. Yes. See? The light, light has paid for itself already. Now, I know the boss is the other way, but I want to explore everything. Don't ask me why I want to explore everything, because it's really not a good thing to do. Uh, I might as well. Got the devil card, not useful at all. Let's go to the super secret room. An eternal heart, which I have to take. I can't um, go back after using. After versing mum, I can't go back out, so. I must take the heart now. Well, I didn't have to take it now, I could have taken it after these next two rooms, but I'm more than happy to take that risk. Of two rooms, which I passed quite well. Let's get these hearts. Run across here and into the boss. It's not going to be the easiest boss. Oh, no jam. That way, that way, this way. Crap. Oh, I lost it. No! Get away! That's it. One, two, three. Super bandage! Awesome. I'll take the Polaroid, because I need that. Stick it to the chest. And we'll go down to the room. Get the glitch. And I'm going to stretch. Hopefully this will mean an XL floor, because... And it is! Awesome. By the looks of things, should be down here. The boss. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't have that anymore, do I? I thought I had the Liberty Cat for a second there. I was like, well, let's just use the Liberty Cat. Shoot its full advantage and find out where the boss room is, but I can't do that. Okay. Dead. Grab a heart, because hearts will be great. Let's blow this up. Full health. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna die, thanks. Okay, so they're all dead. No, it's not here, okay. Where else could it be? Down below? Um, I guess it could be down below all up top. So let's go down below. Because that looks promising. These guys should to die. Okay, let's go down. Judgment. Come on, there we go. Come on, Judgment. Give me an item. 
Epic Ack. Don't want that. One, two, three. Homing bombs! Okay, I'm a bit happier. I really could not have asked for the first run that I post to be any better. Um, I couldn't tell you how good this is for a run compared to what I'm usually used to. So I'm going to say I really like this challenge run. Probably a bit cheesy. Oh, and there's a block. Let's so open this. Oh, didn't want to hit that. It doesn't matter anyway. Rage does not affect. Um, right here, Real of Fortune. Put that down. Range does not affect the fierce, so I guess it's okay that I get a useless item. So this is hopefully an Emperor card. Or the Fool. Can be useful, but it probably won't be. And that's not the boss room either. Okay. Um, where could it be now? I guess really could be any of the ends. Um, let's go up. Up again. Hmm. I don't know which way to go. Let's go up to the top. Okay, you're gonna die so as well. Try to go there. Let that go so far. Okay, what have we got? Temperance, definitely not gonna use that. That'll just kill me. Oh, crap. Ah. What? He didn't die? Too far ahead. Okay. Boss room. No. Is it? Go to Junior. You are annoying. Thank God you're dead. One thing I do hate is when um, you've got um, is it Mum's knife. You always, even Brimstone, you're always um oh, I can't bomb out of my way because it's damn mini boss room. Um when you have Mum's knife, especially in the room I mean I can't complain Mum's knife, it's a great item. But when you have it and you um so you're always pressing to charge it up, and same with Brimstone. You do it and then you get one of those rooms with one of your mirrors. And they just they shoot you instantly and hurt you because you're not used to it. You have to instantly let go and you just don't do it. Okay, these guys shouldn't be too difficult, though I do take some dumb damage. Dead. Last one. Okay, so we know the boss room is either up or down. I'm gonna sometimes have to explore the entire um room. Oh, utero. I didn't even look down. It is a utero. The harder of the two. Uh, let's go up. And I'm wrong again. So, exploring the higher place. They're dead. They should not do. There's my fourth key, which would be very useful. Come to the chest. Get, get out of there. Ah! Don't die! Spirit Heart would mean you can get one there. Okay, double loss. Shouldn't be hard. Get Poison Touch, the reroll. One, two, three. Poison Touch. That works out well. Always try and blow up everything in the in the room. Okay, I'm gonna get a third cube of me. Don't want. I'm gonna pass it up. Definitely gonna pass up this figure of me. Let's go this way. And this way. Oh! What's going on? This isn't good. Um. Grab it. I got undefined. There's a new item. Don't know what that does. Um. I guess it's okay because it didn't ruin the game. But that is weird. 
gets a free roll with way too many items, and it's now having to hit. Come on. Uh, probably the easiest boss. I've always wondered, why is Mum's heart... I mean, I've always found this easier as well. Why is Mum's heart easier than, um... First thing... Uh, Mum, as in the foot. I find Mum's foot a lot harder to kill. Especially the blue one. Than Mum's heart. So why... It's really... I found always found it weird. Why is... You know, the last boss in the game... Easier. Well... We say last boss in the game, obviously we know it isn't. But the last boss in the regular game, easier than, you know, the first, the boss on two levels earlier. So, I don't know, I think it's weird. Um, probably needs to be made harder. Though, then with this game, why would I want to make it harder? That's just stupid for me to say that. Should be an easy route. It is. What have we got? Bombs, don't need them. Oh, that was close. Probably didn't need to take damage there. Probably shouldn't have taken damage. Good. <laughs> yes, boss room. Perfect. Um, yes, I'll... Oh, oh, I shouldn't have used that. Oh, I got the key back. It's okay. Right, so we've got Isaac. And I've got an Ember card for the chest, so it's good. Shouldn't take too much damage. Yeah, I can always go back as well. Yep, that's what I'm Here. Done. Okay. Lost one heart. This is gonna be a win. <laughs> Let's go see what we get. Okay, so reroll one, reroll two, reroll three. Um, I've always wanted to see what this odd mushroom does. Wow, that's so quick. Take this, tears up. Take this, range up. Now let's go to the boss. Ooh, baby, we've got no chance. Look at the rate of shooting. Oh my god. Something gonna move. Need. It's all over. That is it. I'm so tempted to go now for a whole chest and just beat it. I won't. And I'll thank everyone for watching. That's been the first episode for me in the Binding of Isaac. Oh, that's been a good challenge on. So if you have any um, challenges you'd like me to like me to try out, please leave a comment. Other than that, I'll scan around and look for other ones to do in a future episode. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time.